Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Lisbon injury imaging. A Lisbon injury is a tarsal metatarsal fracture dislocation characterized by traumatic disruption between the articulation of the major cuneiform and base of the second metatarsal. which account for 0.2% of all fracture. Predominant in air and more common in the third decade. <laughs> Mechanism is usually caused by indirect rotation force and axial load through hyper plantar flex or school. Pato and anatomy. The unifying factor is the eruption of the TMT joint complex may take form of poorly ligamentous injury or fracture dislocation. Association conditions of fracture, proximal metatarsal fracture. Classification by Hardcastle and Meyerson classification divided into type A is complete homolateral dislocation, type B1, partial injury, media column dislocation, type 2 d partial injury, lateral column dislocation, type C, partial injury, divergent Dislocation. Type 2, complete injury, divergent dislocation. This is the same to So, uh, explain about the tie. So, we can see complete homolateral dislocation. So, normal damage on the right side, and damage on the left side is indicated lateral dislocation. The same way, so the Thai 1 and Thai 2. So Thai 1, see the image. Thai 1 B sees the image on the right side. So, so the major dislocation. So partial injury with major column dislocation. And Thai 2 B. So, partial injury with lateral dislocation on the image on the left. So, this same, same so the Taiwan C. So the 
diverge and dislocation and IC2 complete injury with diverge and dislocation. Clinical presentation, severe mid hood pain, inability to be awake. P differential lenses or top differential lenses, meta tarsal base fracture, meta tarsal stress fracture, tarsal fracture, radiograph. Five critical radiographic signs that indicate presence of midfoot instability. First one, discontinuity of the line draw from the major base of the second metatazole to the major size of the middle primiform. Widening of the interval between first and second array. Those are displaced of the proximal base of the first and second metatarsal, major side of the base of the fourth metatarsal does not line up with major side of symbolic. Disruption of major column line, line tangent shell to the major aspect of the navicular and the major tunicor. So this is an example so of the widening of the inter interval between first and secondary with bony fragments. Flex signs in first intermetatarsal space. This is an example of those of displacement of proximal base of the first and second metatarsal. Image A, AP view. Note the discontinuity of the media cortex of the second metatarsal with media cortical of the second cuneiform. B, flex sign, fracture reversion of least friend lichen. C, internal oblique radiograph, so continuity of the major cortex of the shoot boy and major cortex of the force. Metatarsal. D. Lateral radiograph, so those are this location of metatarsal. CT, useful for preoperative planning in the setting of commuted bony injury can help identify subtle injury.
mechanism of indirect injuries in fractures, dislocation of the least friend joint, tarsal metatarsal joints, longitudinal force with the foot in plantar flexion. CT image A, allow an accurate description of subtal lesion of the TMT joint, and B, commutation of cuneiform, and base of metatarsal in this space between the first and second metatarsal, and fracture eruption of police friend Lightman. Flex sign. MI can be used to confirm presence of truly Lightman's injury. The Excel image demonstrates mid substance disruption. of the inter component of the least friend Lightman complex. Yeah. Coronal image demonstrate mid substance disruption of the dorsal and inter component of the least friend Lightman complex. Image one of my scan of the cytotal section. Two, this is my scanning image of the oblique transfer section where the arrow indicates the least friend ligament. Three, high measurement of the least friend ligament. Four, By measurement of the least friend Lightman, find my image of the oblique coronal section where the arrow indicates the least friend Lightman. Six, length of the measurement of the least friend Lightman. Seven, measurement of the distance between the origin of the least friend ligament on the base of the major cuneiform bone, and eight measurement of the included angle between the least friend ligament and a long axis of the first metatarsal bone. Treatment could be non-operative and operative. Non-operative indication Certain non displaced injury uh, that are stable in wage bearing. Non operative candidate, non ambulatory patient, present of serious vascular disease, severe peripheral neuropathy. Operative. So, inoperative procedure can be temporary, percutaneous, pinning, and delay. Or O or IF or arthrodesis, open reduction and rigid internal fixation, primary arthrodesis of the first, second, and third tarsal metatarsal joint, mid foot arthrodesis. Thank you.